Hello, and welcome to Enyo Pool's How-To Guide section. So you've installed a new salt chlorine generator to your pool, and you've reached the point where you have to add salt. This guide tells you what salt to use, how much to add, and how to add it. First, check your salt chlorine generator's owner's manual to determine what level of salt your salt chlorine generator operates at. They generally operate at target levels between 3,000 to 4,000 ppm. Your next step is to determine the current level of salt in your pool. Measure your pool's current level using a salt water test strip. If you have a pool store nearby, take a water sample into them to verify your salt level. To determine how many pounds of salt you need, calculate the number of gallons in your pool and add salt according to the salt table. If you don't know the number of gallons in your pool, see the first steps of how to size a pool pump for instructions. Salt is typically packaged in 40 pound bags. Use a salt that is at least 99.8% NaCl. The preferred salt is an evaporated, granulated, food quality, non-iodized salt. Avoid using salt with anti-caking agents. These cause some discoloration of fittings and pool surface finishes. Do not use calcium chloride. Before adding salt to your pool, please sure to turn off the salt chlorine generator at the control unit. The generator should not be turned on until the salt is completely dissolved. Leave the pump on to circulate the water and help dissolve the salt. When you add salt, do not pour it directly into the skimmer. For best results, empty the required salt into the shallow end of the pool and let it dissolve and circulate through the main drain. The salt may take about 24 hours to dissolve completely. Finer grades of salt will dissolve faster. After the salt has dissolved, Turn on the salt chlorinator. Check to see that the salt level is around 3500 ppm. Your pool should be maintained at around this level. A low salt level or below 3000 ppm reduces the efficiency of the salt generator, which results in low chlorine production. A high salt level above 4500 ppm can rapidly reduce the longevity of the cell. A word of advice. If you think you need six bags according to your calculations, add five first. Let it dissolve and retest your salt level before adding your last bag. It's a lot easier to add another bag if required than to have to reduce the salt levels if you've overshot your target salt level. If you do end up with too much salt in your pool, see how to reduce the salt level in your pool for instructions. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll free at 1-877-372-6038 or visit us online at www.annualpools.com.